after I had a vegan diet for a couple of months, um, you know, I'm not a vegan, but I try to stick to a plant-based diet, a lifestyle for a couple of months, and amazing things just happened because I just used this pause reader. Uh, you know, um, I had a test. And my heart rate just dropped from like uh, 80 plus to 60. That was amazing. So I thought maybe vegan lifestyle is the right way. Uh, so I'm just uh, making up my mind. I'm determining to really stick to this whole food plant based lifestyle, maybe for life. But I'm not literally saying that I'm giving up on animal products because in China it's kind of like impossible um, you get bits and pieces of uh, like animal products here and there without even you knowing about it in the you know uh, in, beforehand so if you go about and ask them specifically like uh, if you have any animal products in it then they would be like uh, telling you no maybe um, if you happen to find a very conscientious like a uh, you know waiter or waitress that will look specifically into this but chances are the answer that you probably will get is wrong because in China they consider that you know shrimps or prawns as vegan stuff and uh, you know, um, like at least, you know, they're not like a real meaty things to a lot of Chinese people. And plus they put like an oyster sauce here and there, you know, in dumplings, you know, in vegan dumplings without you knowing about it. So I think it's just in, impossible here to, you know, in China to be a vegan without being very annoying to other, other people. Because if you look really specifically into this sort of things, then people will get like upset and annoyed. Okay, so tonight's dinner is gonna be something that I made. Uh, I just, uh, yeah, like um, made with some of my leftover brown rice. You know, uh, it's underneath these uh, beans. And, you know, there are no like ordinary brown rice because I also um, made this like really creamy tahini uh, with uh, a little bit of like a, like a, um, okay what's the word for it like a leek but it's not really Chinese leek it's it's more like a uh, more like a spring onion but it's not you know I totally forgot you know the English word for that but it's in Chinese it's jiu cai and um, um, and with a little bit of like uh, you know fermented tofu paste you know it's red in color because it has this uh, special uh, bacteria thing added into it that totally converted the color of the tofu paste into red um, anyways those um, Three elements are exactly what in Chinese uh, in China Chinese people would put together uh, for hot pot, you know, for a dipping sauce uh, for hot pot dishes. So I just uh, absolutely fell in love with uh, the sauce ever since I went vegan. So um, I just uh, made that sauce and poured it in onto my brown rice, you know, to make it like. Uh, Really tasty and on top of that I just uh, stir fried some like a uh, red onion and bro uh, springy broad beans they're very very like uh, tender and very um, soft unlike you know the normal broad beans that are kind of like really hard to chew um, and on top of that uh, I stir fried the broad beans with uh, garlic and the red onion and finally, on top of that, I just, uh, yeah, had a, several squirt of, you know, this uh, uh, tomato ketchup. So this is uh, my 
dinner. I'm gonna take a bite and see if it's good. Mm. It's really good. And that's a little bit salty. I think the tomato ketchup has just way too much sodium in it. Drink some hot water. Well, there, it's not hot water, it's just warm water. So today, it's a little bit chilly here in Beijing, even though it's already summer. I think, you know, the most important thing in life is to learn to take care of yourself. You know, because no one will take care of you while you're sick. You know, you're gonna feeling, feel miserable and lonely and helpless and hopeless and lying in bed, dying alone. And even though maybe you're lucky enough to be surrounded by other people, no one's really gonna help you, you know, all the sufferings you have to sort of take in all by yourself. So I think it's just really important to try, learn to how to avoid developing diseases that are so fatal that will be, that will really cause you to be trapped in a long and lonely death. So eat more vegan food. You may not necessarily exclude all animal products. Sometimes, you know, from time to time, maybe it won't hurt to eat one egg or two. But you sort of have to pay attention to the ratio. Like, mm, 85% of your diet, you know, has to, 85% of the calories that you ate has to come from vegan food, I think. You have to, from my experience, you, you, you sort of have to really understand the harms of eating animal products to your, um, to your health as well as the benefits of eating vegan food um, to totally try to you know make up a decision to avoid eating uh, animal products altogether otherwise it's just hard because what's the point you know you're surrounded by animal products and and it's easy to be tempted to consume them again. It's really good. It's really a lot of food. 
but because it's vegan and it's whole food centered meal, so you can just eat away and not having to worry about getting fat or anything. All my life I've been struggling with weight problems, you know, so easily getting fat. But once I'm on a vegan diet, I don't I don't have this problem anymore. Mm -hmm. Yummy. I think in the near future, I may really need to change up my like uh, background or something. You know, try to find a nice spot in the apartment to do mukbangs. Because right now, my mother-in-law is actually in the next room. I don't want her to find me. You know, you know, talking to the phone and sh shooting myself. You know, it's it's just. Uh, very weird, I think, for someone at her age. So why am I not moving out with my husband and try to live on our own? Well, circumstances people there are circumstances that carry your fate up and down and you just realize that you can't your life is out of control and you can't really make anything you want happen you know Maybe tomorrow, while I was eating, I would talk about why and what exactly happened. I'm not saying that I'm totally innocent in all of this. But things are out of hand.
You know, and I totally agree with Mommy Tan that if you want to be healthy, then just eat dimple because you're not going to stuff yourself. You're not going to overeat, right? I mean, you can overeat on this. I mean, when you feel full, you feel full, you feel full, and when you're finished it, and you're finished. Unlike in a buffet, you know, you're always tempted to go back to the table and, you know, fetch more food. How, but wondering, like, what am I gonna eat tomorrow? <coughs> that are healthy and easy to make and really delicious. Sometimes I really do think that I'm such a loser, you know, not getting involved with real people, but like just talking, you know, in front of camera. But having watched a lot of YouTubers talking about their feelings about like uh, socializing and uh, making YouTube videos. I just found it out that many YouTubers are really not sociable in real life. They are just very shy and introverted, and they just prefer to uh, hide behind the screen. And but but you know we're we're uh, humans are supposed to be social. And we're born to be social, to, to hang out with other people, to interact with other people. Because we're social beings. And so a lot of YouTubers who are shy in real life just tend to, you know, find an alternative way of interacting with uh, other people by making YouTube videos, talking to people that they don't really see so that they don't feel like so emotionally strained and I feel about I feel the same way as well um, so I think very unsociable per people will definitely find making YouTube videos a very good and relaxing way of socializing with people because you don't really care about what other people um, will look um, how other people will look at you and what other people will say uh, whether uh, you know because it's it's like a one-way street you don't have to interact immediately so that just makes you feel so less stressful you know in human interaction because otherwise you have to really try to keep up with their thoughts and how to carry out a conversation with them when they say something how you supposed to respond, you know, to what they say. It's, sometimes it's just very boring. And we're all self-centered and we like to be the center of our life. So making YouTube videos just put us, you know, these shy people, <coughs> excuse me, onto the uh, center of our stage and uh, the world has to watch us without you know, us hearing, you know, all the negative comments and, uh, um, um, you know, uh, judgment. So it's really good. Oh, I'm getting full. You know, vegan whole food plant based is so filling. Nowadays, when I try to now add, like, uh, um, like um, 
like um, pork feet. Can I say pig's feet? Yeah. And or like uh, eating a slice of beef or lamb or chicken. It totally grossed me out because they just felt like animal carcasses. You know, it's really full of dead meat toxins and. Mm -hmm. And I'm totally thankful to all the people who choose to watch my video because you know I'm not serious I mean I'm not like a serious youtuber trying to make a fortune I can make a living out of making YouTube videos rather you know I'm just making it for fun and just trying to really you know find meaning in life you know try to you know, socialize and open up about myself, you know, in this virtual world because in real life it seems that no one really cares about me. Every day, like millions of people passes me by, but none of them really care about what's on my mind. But it's, you know, what's strange about this world is that, you know, um, when we go home, when we sit down and we want to know about each other, but one face to face it's just hard sometimes the last part Well, I'm done, and uh, now I have to go back and thinking about what I will eat tomorrow, and so maybe I will bring you some surprise. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I'm that creative, but maybe I will come up with something yummy and simple and delicious and healthy to eat with you guys again, so see you tomorrow.